Lockheed Martin SR-72, The Journey of the Son of Blackbird. Aviation history is punctuated with iconic aircraft that have pushed the boundaries of technology and performance. Among these, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird stands as a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. Introduced in the 1960s, the SR-71 was an advanced, long-range, Mach 3 Plus strategic reconnaissance aircraft that remained unrivaled in its class for decades. Its retirement in 1998 left a significant gap in the intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, capabilities of the United States Air Force USAF. Enter the SR-72, often referred to as the Son of Blackbird or Dark Star. Lockheed Martin's SR-72 Son of Blackbird, an uncrewed hypersonic aircraft, is rumored to take its first flight in 2025. A top-secret project for the U.S. Air Force, the SR-72 is expected to exceed 4,000 miles per hour, 6,437 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest plane ever developed. Like its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird, the SR-72's mission likely includes high-speed reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. The Blackbird soared, but a new shadow is on the horizon. The SR-72, son of the legend, promises to break the sound barrier like a twig. Like and subscribe for more on this hypersonic future. Since its proposal in 2013 by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, the SR-72 has captured the imagination of aviation enthusiasts and defense analysts alike. This article delves into the development, potential capabilities, challenges, and future of the SR-72, exploring whether it can live up to its legendary predecessor. The SR-71 Blackbird, developed by Lockheed Skunk Works, was a marvel of aviation technology. Capable of flying at speeds exceeding Mach 3 and at altitudes of 85,000 feet, the SR-71 was designed to outrun threats rather than hide from them. It played a critical role during the Cold War, providing invaluable intelligence through high-resolution cameras and sensors. Despite its age, the Blackbird's records for speed and altitude remain unbroken, highlighting the advanced nature of its design. However, Maintaining the SR-71 was an expensive endeavor. The aircraft's complex systems, high operational costs, and the advent of satellite technology led to its eventual retirement. Yet, the need for rapid, high-altitude reconnaissance persisted, setting the stage for a successor that could address modern-day challenges. In November 2013, Lockheed Martin unveiled its plans for the SR-72, a hypersonic unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, designed to achieve speeds of up to Mach 6. This announcement marked the beginning of a new chapter in hypersonic flight. The SR-72 aimed to capitalize on advancements in materials science, propulsion technology, and aerodynamics to achieve speeds that would make it nearly invulnerable to existing missile defenses. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works had been working on the concept for several years, collaborating with Aerojet Rocketdyne to develop the necessary propulsion systems. The goal was to create an aircraft that could perform ISR missions at unprecedented speeds, providing the USAF with a platform capable of penetrating advanced air defense systems and delivering critical intelligence in real time. One of the most significant challenges in developing the SR-72 is achieving sustained hypersonic flight. At speeds above Mach 5, aerodynamic heating becomes a major concern, with temperatures reaching levels that can melt conventional metallic airframes. To address this, engineers have explored the use of advanced composites, including high-performance carbon, ceramic, and metal mixes. The propulsion system for the SR-72 is expected to be a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC, engine, which integrates a conventional jet engine for subsonic and supersonic flight with a scramjet, supersonic combustion ramjet, for hypersonic speeds. This combination allows the aircraft to operate efficiently across a wide range of speeds, a necessity for a vehicle that needs to accelerate from a standstill to Mach 6. The extreme conditions faced by hypersonic vehicles necessitate the use of materials that can withstand high temperatures and stresses. The SR-72's airframe is likely to incorporate advanced composites and thermal protection systems similar to those used in the Space Shuttle and Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. 
These materials not only need to be heat resistant but also lightweight to maximize the aircraft's performance and range. Operating at hypersonic speeds presents unique challenges for avionics and sensor systems. The SR-72 will require cutting-edge technologies capable of functioning in the harsh conditions of high-speed flight. This includes robust guidance systems, advanced ISR payloads, and electronic countermeasures to ensure the aircraft can perform its missions effectively while evading detection and interception. Lockheed Martin initially projected that a demonstrator for the SR-72 could fly as early as 2018, with the first flight of the full-scale aircraft scheduled for 2023. However, the secrecy surrounding Skunk Works projects makes it difficult to confirm the current status of the program. Reports have suggested that significant progress has been made, with a prototype possibly already delivered to the USAF. The development timeline for the SR-72 aligns with broader hypersonic research efforts by the USAF and other defense agencies. The goal is to have an operational platform by the 2030s that can provide both ISR and strike capabilities. This would include the integration of hypersonic weapons, enhancing the aircraft's ability to engage targets quickly and effectively. Like its predecessor, the SR-72 is expected to excel in ISR missions. Its ability to reach speeds of Mach 6 would allow it to cover vast areas rapidly, collecting high-resolution imagery and signals intelligence from high altitudes. The speed and altitude of the SR-72 would make it nearly immune to interception by current air defense systems, ensuring the timely delivery of critical intelligence. In addition to ISR, the SR-72 could be equipped with hypersonic missiles, enabling it to perform strike missions. The aircraft's speed would allow it to penetrate heavily defended airspace and deliver precision strikes on high-value targets. This dual capability would make the SR-72 a versatile asset in both reconnaissance and offensive operations. Unlike the manned SR-71, the SR-72 is envisioned as an unmanned platform. This reduces risk to human pilots and allows for longer mission durations. The UAV design also enables the use of advanced automation and artificial intelligence to enhance mission effectiveness and operational flexibility. The development of the SR-72 involves significant financial investment. Estimates suggest that the research and development RAND, costs could be around $20 billion, comparable to the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program. These costs reflect the advanced technologies and extensive testing required to achieve reliable hypersonic flight. Operating a hypersonic aircraft like the SR-72 will be expensive. Fuel costs, maintenance, and the need for specialized materials and support infrastructure will contribute to high operational expenses. The aircraft will likely use JP-7 fuel, which is costly and requires complex handling procedures. Despite the high costs, the strategic value of the SR-72 cannot be overstated. Its ability to perform rapid ISR and strike missions in hostile environments would provide a critical advantage in modern warfare. The platform's speed and altitude capabilities would enable it to outpace and outmaneuver current and future air defense systems, ensuring the USAF maintains air superiority. The development of the SR-72 faces numerous technical challenges, including propulsion, materials, and avionics. Addressing these issues requires sustained investment in RAND and close collaboration with industry partners and academic institutions. The progress made in these areas will determine the feasibility and timeline for bringing the SR-72 into operational service. The SR-72 represents just one part of a broader push towards hypersonic flight. Advances in this field have implications beyond military applications, including commercial aviation and space exploration. The technologies developed for the SR-72 could pave the way for new classes of aircraft and spacecraft transforming how we travel and operate in the skies and beyond. As with any advanced defense program, the SR-72 is subject to potential delays and budgetary constraints. The complexity and cost of the project mean that it must compete with other priorities within the defense budget. 
shifts in strategic focus, technological hurdles, or changes in funding could impact the timeline and ultimate success of the program. The Lockheed Martin SR-72 Son of Blackbird embodies the next frontier in aviation technology. Building on the legacy of the SR-71, the SR-72 aims to achieve unprecedented speeds and capabilities, offering a transformative platform for ISR and strike missions. While significant challenges remain, the potential rewards justify the investment. Thanks for watching. Operating at hypersonic speeds presents unique challenges for avionics and sensor systems. The SR-72 will require cutting-edge technologies capable of functioning in the harsh conditions of high-speed flight.